Once Bangalore was known for its beautiful gardens. In the 70s, uh, we hardly used a fan. But as uh, it progresses, a lot of people came into the city, the IT was there, and of course the real estate also uh, uh, grew exponentially. And uh, uh, we have Mr. John Kuruvilla. He's a chief mentor of Brigade, REAP. Brigade is also one of the real estate which grew with Bangalore. And uh, John, welcome to the show. And what is REAP? Can you just explain uh, uh, to the audience what is REAP? So, um, Manjuna, thank you for having me. Um, the Brigade Group, which is one of South India's largest uh, real estate companies and a premier one in, in the country, uh, realized very early on that the industry was grappling with several challenges. And if you look at what's happened in the past four years, one tsunami after the other hit the race industry. Started with demonetization, GST, RERA, and now COVID. And if you juxtapose the fact that globally, as per a McKinsey study, the real estate, infra, and construction industry invest the least amount as a percentage of the revenue to technology actually demonstrate the need for the industry to adopt technology at a much faster pace. So the chairman and the executive director of the Brigade Group early on in 2016 realized that it was important for real estate companies and infra companies to actually adopt proven technology to, that could help bring efficiencies to the industry and also mitigate the challenges of, of, uh, of urban development to the environment. So REAP stands for Real Estate Accelerator Program. We've now mentored 40 startups out of an evaluation of 2,000. And 42% of these startups have raised funding. 150% uh, is the year-on-year -year growth that these startups are showing in revenue. And every startup has got business from real estate companies across the country. In fact, many of them are now, now going overseas. So that's what the objective is. How do you ensure that technology, and this is perhaps uh, one of the, the, the laggard industries globally which has not adopted technology. And I think we are now identifying startups men and mentoring young minds to actually create solutions for real world challenges. And also the real estate uh, per se in terms of going green, the cost factor is also one worry most of the developer has. So how do you educate the developers uh, in particular saying that no, uh, you know, in the long term, the green buildings, green initiatives will help, uh, you know, uh, not only economically, but also uh, about the environment. So how do, do you educate or how do you tell them? So uh, Majunath, good question. In fact, today um, we've, we've held so many webinars and close to about 3,000 real estate developers from across the country have participated. In fact, developers from other nations Africa, Singapore, Middle East, US, Australia are also participating in some of the webinars that we're holding. And they've realized that green building does not mean increased expenses. Actually, a greener building will reduce energy cost. A greener building will reduce waste cost. A greener building will reduce water cost. Greener building will generate better yields as far as rentals are concerned. And at the end of the day, Businesses are here for profits, and the real estate industry is no different, and they've realized it. That's why you're seeing a rapid adoption of technology by real estate, infra, and construction companies across the country. And also today's uh, uh, conclave, uh, just confluence. Uh, what are the takeaways, John? Because a lot of uh, good speakers were there. You also spoke uh, in the confluence. And also one of the areas are the, the spatial and also the well-being. So how does this kind of conclaves, the, the, the interaction help in the, uh, in the longer term? Um, <clears throat> the challenges that the industry faces is not particular to India. It's a challenge that the world is facing. Because on one hand, you have the inefficiencies of the industry. And on the other hand, you have the deep and radical impact on the environment. If the world doesn't come together, then we are fighting solo battles and is not going to make life better. So a confluence like the JESS Confluence by TIA actually is bringing the world together to raise awareness of the challenges facing the industry and bringing solutions from across the world to come together to address these challenges that the world is seeing. Thank you, John. And that was John Kuruvila from REAP Brigade. And uh, 
uh, and we'll look forward to for more initiative from REAP and uh, thanks for speaking to Smart System. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Majina. Thank you so much.